Okay, try to be all stealthy for this part. It doesn't matter where you actually hit them. If you actually... And... That's what kills all the stealth missions. Thanks, AI. If you actually, um... Take out one of the enemies with the bow right next to a wall, it actually pins them right against the wall. It just looks cool. There's no real reason to do it. Unless, also, you want an achievement. Since you're stuck with an AI, um, AI partner for most of the game, a lot of the stealth elements, a lot of times you want to go stealth, and the AI is just. You're running along shooting. I think I spent uh, too much time away from shooters since t when I was playing this the controls felt really weird. This game could have really used some collectibles. There's no reason to explore anything. A lot of levels are... A lot of the area... Game is the same.
So, so instead of having a, a counter about how many bullets you have in your gun, all the guns have that. Th I mean, this gun has that light thing. Goes yellow when it's um, starting to get low, right when it's dangerously low. But it doesn't really matter for me since I constantly reload. Let's split up and flank them. I'll go right. I know some people really hate that. I especially hate when I do it when they have uh, light machine guns. I accidentally do an animation like last like 30 seconds. Try to. Switch guns to stop, stop the reload. And as you can see again, I tried to be stealthy and yeah, yeah, I just was running in. There's no real quick melee attack. I just have to hit down on, my, on the D-pad, get on my knife, and then do the knife kill. No quick uh, attack for that. Doing like a knife battle online was like the only thing that was fun. The online is very generic. I only really played it just to get the achievements. Which I still can't believe I beat this on it on hard. Or is it in inhuman? I had the full thousand in this. These fucking dinosaurs. Sometimes he can just fucking kill you with with one hit. They knock you down real quickly, and they fucking hit you again, and. Boom, dead. They didn't have enough time to get up.
cane is trying to stop me. Why? Why doesn't the chopper just stay uh stay around? It has a freaking turret gun on it. I don't have a rocket launcher around me, so to be able to finish the job, and they do kill really quickly, as you'll see later. Excuse me? Fuck you. I'm up here. Why would the AI be looking up here? Also, great stuff, uh, you know, earlier. I was thinking on the grass, you just freaking run up and shoot. Great stuff. Looking at the achievements, yeah. I beat this on inhuman. Last achievement I got back in June Actually, I have to go down. Get a little confused right here. Radio contact. Nah, I actually stopped playing the game right there. This is where I started to have trouble. And then as you can see right there, there's the pin a person right to a wall. Yeah, 
And out of nowhere, he can just spot me. While his partner has no fucking clue where I am, is looking the other direction. I say I. Uh, nice. That gun right there that I passed by, that's actually uh, kind of like a sticky grenade. Like a sticky uh, landmine uh, explosion kind of gun. I think if you shoot it and it lands on an enemy, the enemy actually freaks out. I didn't do that. I haven't. I didn't really use that in this run. I did try to use it towards the end, but you won't be seeing that. to cut off a lot of the failed attempts on a cer certain parts. I actually cut out a lot of failed attempts at this since this part is very this part is kind of long and there's a lot of enemies As you can see the enemies are really smart <laughs> I shoot him he just sits there not even looking at me still AI, AI is either can, can, they can attack you really easily or I have no fucking clue what they are where you are So going up either one either one of those staircases as you get one of as you get that hap that happens. But you can't run in this fucking game. I just gotta hope that you get a far enough away that it doesn't kill you.
tripping over these guys. This planet's being terraformed. No wonder it's so screwed up. Exponential increase in evolutionary activity. Hey, Turak. Maybe you'll grow some balls while you're here. And you know what's next? That whole part again, basically. More enemies. Yeah, this game could have used more bosses. Could use uh, some more of the old. That's actually one person that that kind of wish now was a boss. And it's the fuck. His name is escaping me, but you'll you'll. See him later, or it's a bald guy. Uh, teaches you a whole bunch of stealth stuff. I don't know. I can't really remember him, but what well, what he was a part of in the past. But he was in the past, and he does show up. But I don't even know if, if you kill him, or what happens to him. Some closure on on what happened to him would be nice. I'm getting a little ahead of the story. Yeah, I have no fucking place to hide. And I'm dead. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I have no clue where that Where the hell did he come from? Damn 
Even though that's kind of useless since they already saw me. I was thinking, why did I find this game so good when it came out? And I think it's because I was. I think this was really like a really uh, depressing time for me. So this is before um, I met all the. This is before JTV and I, where I met, uh, I started like meeting a whole bunch of people. I just felt very alone. Around this time, it, it just felt like everything was uh, changing with the. With the, like, the game sites I was going to, everyone was like splitting up and people were getting fired, leaving. This is around when handsome, t handsome time from Screw Attack uh, left. Jeff Gershwin got fired, and other people joined. You know. Well, um, Quit. I didn't even want this game. My mother just out of nowhere just bought this for me. Because then I fell down. 